Jesus, I pray that every person here who prayed, Lord, I pray that you would move in their heart, their mind, their soul. I pray that you would help them to know that they are greatly loved. I pray, oh God, that you would take them through the valleys and over the mountains, that you would help them in every moment of life, that they would never feel forsaken or betrayed because they serve a holy God who is fighting for them. Lord God, that in our weakness, you carry us. In our weakness, you are our strength. You are the strength in our knees. You are the, the, the help that we need in every moment of life. When we fail, you help us, oh God. You give us the strength in our backbone to stand before the world and to declare your glory. I pray that the presence of God would rest upon them, that you would raise them up, that you would enlighten them, Lord, in the deepest part of their soul, God, that you would shine a light into darkness and you would help them to see truth through the light of your word, oh God. Take them through this life. And I pray that they would never feel lost again. Lord God, help us to reach down and to rescue the souls from the pit. Help us, oh God, to not lose a single one. To lead them through the straight and narrow gate. Father, we need you. I desperately call upon you, oh God, that your word would be a lamp unto the feet and a light unto the path. In Jesus' name, thank you, God. We love you. We glorify you. We are here in the outskirts of Londrina at a community called Flores do Campo. This area houses 3,000 people. It's very vulnerable, very limited resources here. Um, the demographic here ranges from uh, Venezuelans, some Haitians here, and Brazilians too. About 60% Venezuelans, 40% Brazilians, and a few other people sprinkled here and there. Um, just people that are in very great need, this is where they come. Um, people that would otherwise have nowhere to go, nowhere to turn to. And so it's been so interesting being here, getting to know the community, walking around, talking to the people. We're going to have an event here. Uh, we're going to provide some food for them and just show the love of God, to show them that God sees them. And we want to share this story with you too. So follow along with us and we're going to show you more. Uh, God bless you. Because, okay, I'm just getting the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Oh, 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 and Aí eu fiquei como presidente da comunidade. Ended up as the responsible like community president. E Aí eu sendo presidente, é... nessa época ainda não tinha muitos imigrantes aqui. This time when he became president of the area, there weren't many immigrants living here yet. É. E aí começou a chegar é... venezuelano, é... haitiano, in influx of Venezuelan immigrants Várias coming, nacionalidades aqui. coming and other e nationalities. Eles chegam em situação muito difícil aqui. They arrive in a very difficult position. Muito difícil aqui. Aí a gente como comunidade aqui e associação, a gente dá todo o um amparo para essas pessoas. In as a community they look to give them the support that they're lacking. Na medida que a gente pode aqui dentro do Flor do Campo. Né? Within the means that they have. É, porque aí se ajunta associação, moradores e pessoas e dá a casa, dá o básico se eles Because precisarem able to provide e housing. até a pessoa se encaminhar e pegar um emprego e começar a trabalhar. And the most very basic of things until they're able to find a job and provide more for themselves. Tá. Hoje aqui tem 60% de venezuelanos. He's saying here today is 60% Venezuelans, 40% Brazilians, and the other people from different places, it's like a small percentage that it's hard to factor in exactly. Out of 3,000, right? Yeah, yeah out of 3,000 people. 
Não cobra. Não cobra. They've allowed e água them também. to have electricity here, the electricity company, but they do not pay for the electricity. So it's almost like a tiny little hub that they've let them have without needing to pay for it. E a água é a mesma coisa. Do And the water, water is the same thing. So, so they do have, they do have Mas access. Mas como que é a questão da água aqui? É vontade ou falta ou dá problema pouca. ou não? É, é pouca. Yeah. But there's a limited amount Muita of water. Muita pouca pressão de água. So it que can é, run é um cano out, que passa para vários moradores. Very low. É um cano só. Is it clean at all? É clean, a água é limpa. Sim, a água It's é limpa. Clean, but there's Só one tem um, pipe um pipe para todo mundo. The whole então é muito fraquinha a água. Então é muito fraquinha a água. Então é muito fraquinha a água. Então é muito fraquinha a Vai ser a associação Center. dos moradores aqui, tá? Aqui. They don't have a place yet é, where they can get together saída. and discuss ah, community um things. Muito fundo aqui. Aí eu falei com o. He's saying that all of these buildings here are abandoned buildings in a previous government. Um, people kind of started this area up and started having these buildings just as a way to um, funnel money but didn't really invest anything into the area so you end up with all of these abandoned buildings and now it's become this community where he will have empty buildings he'll give them to some people who he sees need them and the empresa que estava responsável pela obra só pegou o dinheiro e sumiu daqui e largou tudo para trás. Yeah, so the companies who are involved in developing this area, they just took the money, never did anything with it, and you end up with the, these settlements. He's going to show the, the edges up to where you have people living. In. An indigenous leader lives here, and you can even see the pattern they've put on the doors. It's like their indigenous pattern. They've tried to create some shutters and doors here um, to just protect from weather, um, just as best as they can, really. You can see it's still not finished. The windows are still all open up. For those who had nothing, though, this is a good shelter, and they're still working on it. Hopefully, they can develop it more. Mas a gente, a gente é daqui. Não, de la Venezuela. Não, 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 não. Nós, é, nós somos. Ah. Ela é minha, minha irmã. Ah. Mas mora na América. O marido é pastor missionário. Ah. É. So they're from Venezuela. They've been here for almost a year. This family. Que e é tudo, é tudo família. Sim, sim. Ah. From Venezuela. Sim. Ok, very nice to meet you. Muito bom conhecer vocês, mas they don't speak português completely. Não, mas eles entendem. Se vocês entendem. Sim. Ah tá. Sim. Tá bom. É. Ele quer, quer falar que é bom conhecer vocês. Ah tá. E dizer também assim, ó. Que a gente vai fazer um evento aqui no pra comunidade no domingo. Hum. É... Vai ter lá um almoço, vai ter atividade para as crianças. Ah. Para vocês ah, estarem com a gente aí, no domingo aqui. Ah, How old are you, man? Quantos anos você tem? 15. 15? 15. Very cool. Uh -huh. É o que ele. Are you a. Uh, who's your favorite player? Quem é o seu jogador de futebol preferido? <risos> Qual é o teu favorito? O Neymar. 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 <risos> very, very good answer. Uh, say, uh, Messi ou Ronaldo? Messi. 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 Hello. Qual a idade dela? Quatro ou você? Grande por quatro. Que linda! Hello! Que Olá. linda! E vocês, como que tem sido pra vocês é, esse ano aqui no Brasil? Como tem sido He's pra saying, vocês? How's your first tem, year being in bom. Brazil? Né? Filhos todos estão estudando, eu tenho cinco filhos, todos estão estudando, fazendo curso. É. She's tá saying bom. she has five kids, they're all oh. studying, so they're their settlement school. in Brazil has been great. Yeah. Yeah. E yeah. eu queria falar para vocês que a nossa família um dia também já foi imigrante. He was wanting to share with them that our family, e a gente one foi day, uma we were immigrants too, we went Aonde somewhere essa pátria, else. Ela nos acolheu. Um, and we were also welcomed elsewhere e a gente so when we went to the UK. Foi muito próspero lá. And we had, you know, a great outcome aqui. there, and we want to encourage them that tá? they will also be able to então, prosper and have a great outcome here. A dificuldade que vocês estão tendo, 
So the difficulties a, a vida é um you're facing here, life is a então, process. A vitória de vocês, ela vai, But já chegou na verdade. We né? know you've e already, a gente you're tá already having victory. Aqui. We believe in more né? victory for you. No, eu sou morador local aqui da zona norte. He's saying, don't just tá? feel like foreigners. E a gente... We want you to feel like Nós part of vizinhos, the community né, in fronteira. Brazil. Mas and hoje vocês um, são parte da família. Aí. That we just have a lot of sympathy for this, and é we welcome them. É família, tá bom? Obrigado aí por receber a gente. E vão lá domingo. Conde? Como fala pega pelota em espanhol? Pega bola. Pega bola. Cadê a bola? Tá lá em cima. Deixa eu ver a sua bola, como é que tá, que eu vou trazer uma bola nova. Trai, trai a pelotando. Trai a pelotando. Uxi! Não vou comer. Eu não sei, você sabe? Eu não sei, você sabe? Eu não sei. He says it's not go. He says it's not go. It's not go. Samuel, let's go. Let's go. Shoot the ball. Come on, buddy. No mend the pernas. No mend the pernas. No mend the pernas. Mira, lo meio. Grab him, grab him. No more. Grab him. Oh, Judah wants to play. Domingo teremos. Samuel. Mira, mira, mira. Domingo teremos uma festa e você procura lo que ele tem um presente especial para você. Ah, he said, tá bom? He's o nome o nome dele? Felipe e Beatriz. Mm -hmm. Felipe e Beatriz. Vamos nos trazer uma. Sabe o que temos? Uma pelota nova. Traremos, traremos, traremos uma uma pelota nova. A gente vai continuar andando para conhecer o lugar. Obrigado, obrigado. Vamos ser como ele. Não sei, pero vamos ser como ele. 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 Vamos ser Dale, 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 e eu fiz essa motoca. His name is Joshua. É o Joshua. His name. Very good. Nice Joshua e Efraim. Pronto. Cabe uns quatro. Cabe. É. Mas é assim. Ô, oh, Joshua, cabe eu aí, hein, meu? Essa é a ideia, né? Porque eu tenho três. Saying they developed the the little bike design with the wood, um, because every time they had a plastic one, it would break. So they did their own thing. <laughs> the electricity only works up to this point, so they're wanting to extend it now beyond this point. Because this is where it ends. Where it ends. So this, you can see that the ground is all broken up. You can see where the water has flown and eroded the place. So he, he's going to have to fix this up. I'm worried about him and his son. Whoa. 
This house behind where they're playing has only been inhabited for the last 15 days. And um, this area that we're in now, you see it's more in the field, it's more in the middle of the grass and everything. It's a bit less developed than the other areas. Um, so there's a lot of um, grass that's overgrown here and... But the interesting, mm. you know, when people come, they have a of your sauce, they give the kind of signature as ASS is the signature of association. The association has given their permission. So in each area, as they came, they just number as a first house mm -hmm. on this area. Number two there, second house as mm -hmm. this area, you know, what has been the under of the supervision of the presidents of the community. Okay, so they, they label the houses as they start to give them out to people with the initials of the association of the community and the number. <laughs> <risos> I want to escape. Então, era até o último bloco lá já vai ser habitado. Uh -huh. Essa parte. Aqui para baixo ainda não tem morador. Tá? Okay. As casas aqui do jeito que foi deixado. Tá? O mato está tomando de conta. E aqui nós tem mais ou menos umas 200 casas para baixo. So these are all numbered and you have people living here on this other side where all the grass is overgrown. These are not inhabited yet, but they will be probably at some point once they clean up the area. <laughs> Hello. Cuidado com o chinês. Segura na mãozinha dele aqui, ó, assim, ó. Ele quer bola. Cuidado, cuidado. Olha lá, ele gostou do Joshua. Joshua, seu amiguinho. Dá a mãozinha pra ele, Joshua. Aí, Joshua, quer ser seu amiguinho. Opa! Oh, ele quer fazer. Aí, seu amiguinho tá te dando a mão. Amizade com o Joshua. Olha lá, já quer sair, ó. They're also from Venezuela. Very good. Yeah. Three weeks they've been here. Oh, very good. Mas aqui no. Londrina. Não. Aqui tem uns 15 dias. E no Brasil? No Brasil está mais de 5 anos já. Five years they've been in Brazil, but here specifically about 15 days they've been living here. Então vai ter lá atividade. A outra rua que dessa ali, ela também está toda igual a essa A Federal Government Project. But they never finished it or what? They, they never finish, they start and after a while they just left as it is. So many people who come from Venezuela and even Brazilians, they start to come in and use it as it is. Um, so at some point they just took some someone to look after and organize for all reasons for the safety of the children for the safety of the community to not get the kind of chaos here you know and that's how it is. <laughs> the street where we come from is still has been populated. People still come in. The other areas now has been all occupied already. <laughs> you want to say something? <laughs> 
Você fala espanhol ou português? Português. Português. É porque, é porque ele é americano. Você quer falar alguma coisa? Dar um alô pra eles ou não? Você veio da escola agora ou tá indo? Ah, da escola. What do you want the world to know about you? E yeah, é pra você falar o que você quer que o mundo saiba sobre você. Que ele viaja o mundo fazendo missão. Ah, eu quero que o mundo saiba. She want the world to know. Vou falar que eu tô traduzindo. Você quer que o mundo saiba? Ah, eu quero que o mundo saiba que o mundo às vezes é ruim e às vezes é bom. Yeah, she say, I want the world to know. Sometimes the world is good, sometimes the world is bad. Mas, você quer alguma mensagem pro mundo? Has anyone ever told you about Jesus? É, alguém alguma vez já falou para você sobre Jesus? Yeah. Yeah, she say yes. So, with, uh, when, when God is, is with you, uh, quando Deus está com você, you can have peace because you know He's always in control of Você everything. pode ter paz, independente de onde você estiver, porque Deus está no controle. É, principalmente quando meu pai não está aqui, como ele está preso. É, she say, especially now, because her father is not here, is in prison. Oh. So God has been look after her. Yeah. Eu tenho que ir, minha mãe está me esperando. Yeah, she, say, she, she say she will go now because her mama waiting for her. Ok. Dá tchau para ele. Have a good day. God bless you. Deus abençoe. Ele falou, Deus abençoe. Let's see what they are doing there. Oh, quem que vocês estão tirando o apoio? Deixa eu ver aqui se eu sou bom no pouco. Vai, vai, vai. Comigo, comigo. comigo. Eu sou melhor, eu sou melhor. Não, vamos todo mundo, vamos todo mundo. Vai, vai, faz a roda aqui. Agora o melhor de três, melhor de três, vai. Perdi, perdi, perdi. Ó, domingo vai ter uma festa aqui, cama elástica. Cachorro quente, refrigerante, o dia inteiro. Tá Muito bem. Até a noite. Que a vai noite não. Hoje? É a tarde. Que vai ter hoje? Hã? Hoje? Domingo. Que é o que eu te esqueci. Esse é o carro da pessoa que tá com nós, da esposa dele, da minha filha. My father-in-law has done such a great job at getting all this organized. We have people that we've hired to help with food. We're gonna have uh, some some refreshments going on. Uh, we have a stage set up where they're gonna be playing music. Uh, we have trucks even now delivering the food packets. We're gonna be hopefully giving out 150 food packets today. And then we're having um, a feeding program tomorrow at a different favela. We're gonna be handing out 150 more food packets. We're gonna be having a service, a crusade outdoor service kind of event today. Uh, here in the favela where you have uh, just a big mixture of uh, Brazilians, Haitians, and Venezuelan immigrants. Uh, obviously Brazilians here and then Venezuelan and Haitian immigrants have come into here as well. Uh, you see a lot of footage showing that where it's just uh, coming in and, and finding these abandoned buildings and repurposing them into their homes and uh, the community leader we've met with, he's a good guy and it's brought a lot of stability to this neighborhood because um, it used to be full of crime, you know, um, the criminals used to kind of run the area and then um, some whoever it was that stepped in, kind of intervened, put some different people in charge and it's really made a, a good community since then. So we're hoping for a successful event. Uh, so many people moving uh, around doing different things. I'm gonna try to show you some of that now.
coração. Our strengths and our weaknesses. As suas forças e as suas falhas. Our life's greatest success. E os seus sucessos. The food that we're handing out, if I'm just gonna look here at the bags, it is uh, it is rice, beans, uh, a lot of food staples really, flour, I think maybe some sugar in there, uh, cornmeal, uh, oil, uh, some pasta, the pasta is real big here, and uh, just various other food items. This is pretty much the basics of what we do everywhere we go, we hand out food. Your contributions to the ministry, this is a huge part of it. We give food to as many people as we can. We go into severely impoverished areas and, uh, and, and try to feed as many as we can and give them the hope of God. This is just so that we don't come into a place, preach the gospel, but then show up empty handed. We want to show up saying, look, we don't want anything from you. We just want you to know Jesus. We want to bless you actually at our cost, our expense. We come and we're not asking you for a dime. We just want to bless you, give you the love of God, and give you some food. And just as we said in the sermon today, you don't, it's not a prerequisite to, to, to pray for salvation, to get food. Everyone who shows up that we identify that needs food, they get a food ticket and they get to go home. So uh, you staying at the service is not a prerequisite, none of it. We're not holding people captive, uh, you know, keeping them kidnapped until the service is over before they get food. It's just, um, we come here, we try and be a light, we try and be a, a, a you know, the, the hands and feet of Jesus. Show them the love of God and everything that we do and then give some food out to those who are in desperate need of food as best we can. Uh, and, uh, you know, this stuff doesn't come uh, cheaply. We spent a boatload of money on this event and, and I'm hoping that, um, you know, that it, it is truly worth it with the souls. Obviously, with the souls that give the heart to God today, it's always worth it. But uh, I, I think we're going to see a return on this. God is so big. Dios ha soy. And just seeing people leave here, seeing people leave here uh, happy and fed. You know, we, we handed some food out, um, handed some food out, uh, not just in bags, but we had some cooked food that we were feeding the children and the family. So all of this is just to say that we love them and to lead them to Jesus. That's what it's about. Thank you so much for supporting us. And uh, it is you who make this possible. So God bless you.